pleading to point at the police station. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You should be pleading to go in. Not even one year six months in many months. Simple straightforward things you want. No, you want us to be pleading for you. What? Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Ready? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, ladies and gentlemen and all those that are watching us by social media our Secretary General Honorable Rafael Nakachinda and myself were summoned separately by the Zambia police they are investigating cases of seditious and seditious practices uh, so Honorable Rafael Nakachinda has since been charged and arrested over a case of sedition on allegations at the press conference that the party held that uh, Mr. Nagachinda uttered words that fall into what they call seditious practices. Uh, he was charged and arrested at Woodlands Police Station and has been moved to a cell, police cell, here at uh, Chilenje Police Station. For me, remember, I was also called uh, someone they have been given a warning and caution over some public statement relating to the sale of the Zambia National Building Society and the purchase of that build of uh, another building by Zambia National Building Society, former MTN officers. So I was given a warning and caution statement. From the side of the party and our people to come from the United Nations Human Rights Council. The United Nations Human Rights Council has put it very clearly that there is uh, oppression of the opposition, harassment of the opposition leaders, that there is a shrinking democratic space, and that we are not allowed to practice our rights and freedoms. And even you, the media, are also affected. We say this, that government must heed. Just here, we have over five people detained over the same cases of speech. You have Jason Mwanza and two others that are detained at Lusaka Central Police uh, over the protests that the young man put out over load shedding. We have uh, Thomas Zulu, former Kafue Council chairperson, who's also been detained since last week, again over issues of speech. This business of criminalizing speech is what the international community are condemning because Zambia presents itself as a democracy. And in a democracy, free speech becomes, is a hallmark, it's a pillar of democracy. So not just the autonomy and independence of institutions, but freedom of expression, freedom of the speech, freedom of the press must be respected. And they are not being respected. As, as we've seen, Nakachinda expressed alarm at the poisoning of Milimu and our people, and he uttered some words the government may not be happy about, but it was over the concern of the presence of, of uh, poison in Milimu that was being sold to the public. Those were legitimate matters of national interest, but he's been arrested and detained. And we hope and we pray that, as re repeatedly stated by President Akainde Ichilin, that Mr. Nakachinda will be given bond today because President Akainde Chiloma is on record 
that when you are arrested at 10 hours, will give you bond by 14 hours. And if the case is not bailable, bondable, you will be taken to court where you can then get court bail. So we hope with this arrest that government will quickly, the police will quickly proceed to grant Mr. Nakachinda uh, uh, police bond. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon once again. We are here at um, Chilenje Police uh, Station where Patriotic Front Secretary General Honorable Rafael Nakachinda has been detained. Various leaders have been trooping in. Uh, we have uh, the Vice President of the Party, Honorable Given Luwinda, who is here, and other leaders. And we have Professor Nkandruo that has also just joined us. Honorable Nakachinda is detained for charges of uh, seditious practices over his comments toxins in Mirimil that was in in the that was being sold to members of the public. Honorable uh, given Luwinda we will quickly give his remarks. Uh, we saw this coming. It doesn't come to us as a surprise at all. What it actually does is to just show us that uh, when people are about to leave, they show arrogance. And the arrogance that we're seeing in the UPND is one that is symptomatic of people who have lost direction totally. Even after they've been warned by the expert committee of the Human Rights, UN National Human, United Nations Human Rights Committee, that uh, they are bringing down Zambia's reputation in so far as the observance of human rights is concerned, they still go ahead and do the direct opposite of what the world is expecting of them. However, I want to say well done to Zambia police. They have done a very good thing to arrest Emmanuel Mwamba and to arrest Rafael Nakachinda. They have done a good thing because now they are giving them a rightful platform for them to go and explain to the world what they meant when they said that the provision of poisoned food to the Zambian people is equivalent to terrorism, is equivalent to actually tyrannical governance. There is no country in the world that can stand by and watch its citizens being fed on toxic food materials. In ordinary countries, the ministers responsible for food would have resigned by now. But in Zambia, instead of the minister being held responsible, it is the complainants who are being held accountable. Now they will go and account for their words. And indeed, they will go and show the whole world what they meant with the words that they uttered, the words that are today are having them incarcerated on the charges of seditious practices. This is a very welcome uh, move by the police and we're very happy. I want to just encourage our Secretary General, I want to encourage our Chairman for information and I want to appeal to all our lawyers. And here is an opportunity also for even those who have never come with us, all those lawyers who have never come with us, here is a matter of public interest. This matter is not about the patriotic front. This matter is about the citizens of Zambia. I therefore call upon all lawyers in Zambia to come up and stand with Emmanuel Mwamba, to stand with Rafa Nakachinda as they defend the food sovereignty of this country. What Rafael and what Emmanuel have been talking about is to maintain the food integrity of Zambia. They have been questioning the poisonous food that has been put on the Zambian market. Food that has the capacity of killing lives. This is what they have been complaining about. So all of us, let us stand up and defend ourselves. This is not about Emmanuel Mwamba's food. It's not him alone who is consuming this food. It's not Rafa Nakachinda and his children alone who are consuming this toxic food. It's all of us Zambians. So everybody rise and be heard when we demand that our food integrity must be protected by the people who are governing us. It is their duty. The number one job of any government is to protect the health and integrity of its people. 
that's the number one job and if any government fails to assure the people that they are consuming food which is free of toxins then that government is not worth governing the people thank you very much um Oh, oh okay. Pela on and oh. Yeah, but uh, he's combining the matter. I speak for the party and the ISG. We held the press conference together. Uh, we will give you an update. We are here. Honor Bonakashin has not been given police bond yet. He was charged and arrested at Woodlands Police Station. We hope that the Zambia police will quickly give him police bond. Thank you very much. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.